Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? Uh, I am doing great today. I, uh, wow. I need to turn, put this down a little bit, but I hope it doesn't flop over like it did. Okay, good. It didn't. Okay, well, it has been an action packed day in my house because I decided to rearrange my son's room and reorganize all the homeschooling stuff so that was lots of fun and I got rid of all the toys because I would put a toy in front of him and he would push it away so I thought you know what I am just not gonna store toys anymore so we are done storing toys in our house we uh he doesn't like them anyway I don't have room for them. I'm fixing to get rid of a lot of stuff here in my office, too, that I don't use. I gave the toys, though, to my neighborhood kids. They came and got them for free. And so, that made me happy because somebody needs to play with those toys. Seth doesn't like them. So, anyway. I want to uh, finish Psalm 119 tonight and I am not going on my trip after all plans changed so I will be here Thursday and Friday and um, I don't know what we'll talk about but we'll find something so let's go ahead and jump into some prayer and um, then we will get into Psalm 119 I don't know whether yeah it is on okay well let's go ahead and pray God we just uh, come to you and again we want to thank you for your word we want to thank you for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us we just pray that you would open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us tonight in your word and God, we just uh, pray for all the sick people. There are so many. It's a little baby that was just born in the NICU. God, just please give that little girl strength and be with the family members, God. Just uh, give her strength to where she can get off of all of her monitors. And we've, we've had more people pass away in our community and in our church family, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them, for their families. And we also, I want to lift up my friend Josie, who is sick, that you would heal her body, God, that you would give her strength and help her to feel better. God, we pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. Um, I'm sorry. I'm distracted. There's a conversation going on. And we pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray for them to repent and to return to you, God. We pray, God, for all the children that are missing from their families, the children that have been human trafficked, God. We pray for them to be saved. We pray for them to be rescued. We pray for all the disasters that are going on all over the world, God. We just pray that you would be with these people. And we also pray again for people that have lost loved ones. We pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I may have to get up and shut my door because it's this conversation is a little loud. Um, maybe it will end in a minute and I won't have to turn my music on. Okay, so I know exactly where we're going. We're going to Psalm 119 again. And uh, we will finish it up today. And I don't know what we will read tomorrow. This will keep us busy for a little while. Okay, so the, the heading on this is Lamed 
I guess. I don't know. I may not even be saying these right. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I, I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. So again, God's word, it's, it's settled in heaven. And his faithfulness goes out to all generations. So the next part is, oh, excuse me, I'm looking for my music. This thing is so slow. The next part is Mim. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, uh, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Okay, so the next one is none, which is one that um, I'm more familiar with this part. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word, except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage um, forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. So God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so the next part is uh, S-A-M-E-C-H, Semek, I don't know, or Semech. I hate vain thoughts. But thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross, therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. So, um, the law we love. And it's our hiding place and our shield and our hope 
is in God's Word. Okay, so the next one is Ain, A-I-N. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors, but surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts, concerning all things to be right and I hate every false way. So we are to love it above gold. And it teaches us God's statutes. Okay, the next one is P-E. Pay. P-E, I don't know. I don't know which it is. Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for, for I longed for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man. So, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. And teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes because they keep not the law. You know, it is, it is sad to see people not... They don't even know what God's Word is or how precious it is or how instructful it is. And it makes me sad too because I don't want to see anyone perish. And it does make me sad to see people just, you know, toss aside God's Word that it's not important, that it's not relevant right now in 2021, but it is very relevant. And it will always be relevant. And these are our instructions for life. Okay, so the next part is T-Z-A-D-D-I. And I am not even going to try to pronounce that because I have no idea how to pronounce it. So righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. So again, it's just such good things about God's word and all the things that God's word should be to us. So the next one is um, K-O-P-H, cough, I guess. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from the law. 
Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. It was just so good. I'm, I had forgotten how good this was until I read it the other morning. And so I decided I wanted to share it. Okay, so the next part is Resh. R-E-S-H. Consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. That is so true, and I see so much of that now. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies. Yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved, because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. And that is so true. God's word is true from the beginning and all the way to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, it is so true. And he, his righteous judgments will endure. And he is going to be the righteous judge on all unrighteousness. Not that these people don't have the opportunity to repent. They can. They have to want to, though. They have to want to repent and do better. Well, I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of kitty songs downloaded. I don't know why I can't get the um, internet to work on this phone tonight. I'm gonna restart it. That's why I bought this phone that I do my video on is because that phone I was always having to restart. Okay, Shin. S-C-H-I-N is the next part. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love the law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hope for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. And so the last part of this is T-A-U, Ta. I'm going to look over here too and see. It doesn't say who wrote this. I may look in my... have another Bible down here. I have a study Bible. I may look and see who wrote this. Okay, Ta, let my cry come near before thee. O Lord, give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. So that is the very end of that. And like I said, oh, I can't reach my study Bible. It's down there. I may do some research on Psalm 119. But anyway, when I read it the other day, I thought, this is just so good. And this brings out so many good things about God's Word and what it is to us and what it is meant to be and how we're supposed to learn it and how we're supposed to use it okay well i hope you enjoyed that um that concludes psalm 119.
so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. But I will do something. Because I will be here after all. Okay, so let's put this up. And let's put our God's Word up. And I'm going to show you what I've talked to God about today. And today is the end of the mask mandate in Texas. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to take my son to Dollar General, which will be the first time since last March. It's when I quit taking him to stores when the COVID craziness began. I call it the disease. It's a disease. All right, I'm going to try to only have 25% battery on here. It might be why it doesn't want to pull up the internet. Okay. So, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child, new opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus, a new day to get things done. Well, it looks like it wants to do the internet now. Well, it did. Okay, a new day to get things done, child, a new day to organize, child. And I did that. I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day to organize Seth's room and sign up for Starfall. I did not do that. But I may do that tomorrow. I tell you what, organizing Seth's room and going through all those toys and putting them in sacks and praying that somebody would come and get them. <laughs> that was quite taxing. Maybe research Christian sites for this too. And I'm thinking about seeing if there is a Christian site that is an education site like that. Um, this computer is getting on my last nerve today. Okay, I might do that in a minute. Child, many important meetings are taking place, and at the right time, all will be revealed to the public. Um, do your part in this physical and spiritual fight, child. Many dominoes are fi falling and they will continue to fall until all are done falling. Then all will be revealed to the public for them to decide. The truth has been hidden from so, so many for so long. Soon the truth will be told. Some will not believe it, but most will. Soon all that one, all that one are Soon all that are in this pit of corruption will go to jail and many will be freed from bondage, physical and spiritual. Child, only the truth will set people free. And I said, I see all of this, God, happening before my eyes and ears also. I pray for all that are enslaved physically and spiritual, spiritually to be free. Freedom is my cry in prayer also, for all to be free and for all organizations to be successful. All lawbreakers to be in jail also. And I said, thank you God for meeting me this morning. Please help me to make right decisions 
Guide me today with what you want me to do. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me. In all that I ask, the reunion is soon, child, so be ready to go in an instant. The reunion is going to be spectacular, child. Hello. Many are coming home through death, and many will come with Jesus. All peace, all love, all joy here, child. It will be so great to see you all home again with all of us, child. It will be beautiful. And I said, Maranatha, God. So we had a sweet lady in our church pass away, I think yesterday morning, or maybe the day before. Well, we're going to miss her, but I think of all of her friends that she's with that are already there. And I know they're happy to see each other and family and everything. And she won't ever be sick again. And that's the beauty of heaven. We won't ever be sick again. I don't remember how I shared the gospel last night. I need to get some other ways to share the gospel. Okay. Well, how about an invitation? Your ticket to heaven. I mean, each ticket is good for one. One person. One person. We're never good enough. Or just because our family's saved does not mean that we automatically have a ticket to heaven. Because we don't. Every individual has to make this decision on their own. Okay, so your ticket to heaven. May I offer you a ticket to heaven? You don't have to pay for it, and that's a good thing, because you could never afford to buy it. It's free, but only because someone has already paid the ultimate price for it. That's true. God loves you and not only wants you to have a fulfilling life on earth, He also wants you to live with Him in heaven forever. He's the one who offers you a paid in full ticket. No one wants to go to hell where, where there will be no joy and no pleasures whatsoever. And God doesn't want anyone to go there either. The Bible says that God is not wishing that any should perish. 2 Peter 3, 9 But there is a problem with getting that free ticket. We have all done wrong. We have all sinned, haven't we? God's Word says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. 1 John 1, 8 Sin pollutes. It makes us unclean, unclean, unfit for God's presence in that wonderful, perfect place called heaven. Sin penalizes. It separates us from a sinless God. For the wages of sin is death. Romans six twenty three. So, who paid for it? Who paid for the ticket? Wait, there's good news. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to earth to be born and to live his life without sin. He suffered once for our sins, the righteous one for the unrighteous, and that's all of us, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 when God laid on him the iniquity sins of us all. Isaiah 53, 6. Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mark 15, 34. The answer is simple and profound. Jesus was separated from God because he took your place and mine on the cross. And by dying, he paid in full the wages our sins had earned. Then he rose from the dead, was seen by hundreds of people, and is alive today, so you can know him and receive the gift of eternal life, your ticket to heaven. That's right, the Bible says to all who did receive him, Jesus, who believed in his name, 
he gave the right to become children of God. John 1, 12. That is awesome. You can become a new person, born of God, to start a brand new life that pleases God. And of course, all God's children have a ticket to heaven. So do you want it? It is no accident you were given this offer of a ticket to heaven. God has made sure you can receive it. The whole issue is, did Jesus pay for all your sins or didn't he? God said he did. Trust God that it is so. Whoever believes in the Son of God has eternal life. John 3.36 Just as a man says, yes, I will take this woman to be my wife, God wants you to tell him, yes, I will take Jesus to be my Savior. I believe that he is the only way to heaven. The Bible says whoever has the Son, Jesus, has life. 1 John 5.12 if you believe that God's way to heaven is the only way, you can claim your ticket by telling God in words like these. Okay, so this is a salvation prayer. It is not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief in Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to leave space to where if you would like to pray this prayer, you can okay dear God I have sinned I know I have offended you in many ways I am so sorry I believe that Jesus suffered and died for my sins, paid my debt in full, and rose again. Jesus, I believe in you and thank you for what you've done for me. Please save me from the penalty of my sins and give me a new birth and the power to live for you. Thank you for this offer to spend eternity with you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So remember what John 3.36 says. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Do you now believe in Jesus as your Savior, your only ticket to heaven? Do you have everlasting life like God said? So if you said that prayer and you believe that Jesus is the only Son of God and that He came here to this earth to die for everyone on the earth. He was buried for three days and He rose on the third day now he's in heaven with God if you believe these things then the the angels in heaven are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's book of life you are now saved sealed and sanctified by God through Jesus his son and when the rapture happens you will be going with us so welcome to the kingdom family of God. What we've been talking about the this week, God's word, 
while we read God's Word every day. Read God's Word every day. Take a few moments. Um, start reading in Matthew. Pray to God every day and praise Him. I'm listening to praise music right now. I'm listening to Good God Almighty by David Crowder. Awesome song. Okay, well, it just seems like I get done faster and faster every night. It's kind of weird. I guess because I'm not flipping around in the Bible, I'm in one spot. Okay, so this is God's blessing to you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. And give thee peace. Oh, I'm sorry. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. I skipped. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Sorry, I skipped the second line. So my pray and share warriors, we need peace. We so need peace. In our country, I'm wanting to sneeze. I don't think I've ever sneezed on here before. I've coughed before. Okay, maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyway, um, I am going to pray and get off of here. Go feed my son. Go rest a little bit after working so hard today. May work in my office tomorrow. I don't know what to do with some of this stuff, though. I don't think anybody would want it, even if I put it on the side of the road. Um, anyway, maybe I can organize it. I don't know. All right. Well, let's pray. Let's thank God for His Word. And let's just... Um, pray God we just come to you again God and thank you for your word thank you for all the many things that it means to us all the things that you want for us that come through reading your word help us to spend more time in your presence reading your word God Help us to um, reflect the love and the light of Jesus. Help us to be the hands and the feet of Jesus and to show his love and compassion. And just pray, God, for uh, peace and love and unity that only comes through Jesus. I pray for a Jesus movement that can't be stopped. I pray that you would help us to be more in your presence, that you would help us to testify of all the good things that you've done in our lives, and that you would help us to encourage others. And God, I do just uh, pray for truth to rise above all the lies. I pray for all the truth to be revealed. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm sorry. My nose is running now that I didn't sneeze. I finally got my music going, though. All right. Texas allergies. You got to love them. I went out in the wind yesterday. I mean, this afternoon and put some stuff in the trash and put the toys out on the side of the road with uh, in bags. So I guess something's in the wind. You know what? I didn't take my allergy medicine today. That could be part of my problem. Okay, well, uh, God bless you all. Um, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow, which is Thursday already. Spring break is flying through. Um, at least I feel kind of prepared for the 15th. All right. Um, my music just stopped abruptly. Um, 
I'm going to take that out. Yeah, that's finally working. So anyway, have a great day tomorrow. Uh, much love and cyber hugs. Until I see you face to face, good night.